Okay, we get started here. Thank you for uh, biting down so quickly. It was pretty fast for so many people. All right, let's stay that way unless you're contributing to the learning and the conversation. So what's the square root of four? Two. Why? Why is it two? This means because because two times two equals four. Exactly right. Okay, now Trevor, the next one. What do you think? Well, it's negative seven, but I'm confused because like if you take a negative times a negative, uh -huh. that's positive. Right. Asking. Okay. Now, there's there's like two parts to this. There's the square root of forty nine, and there's negative. So we can put like little parentheses around here. All the stuff that happens in here is its own little universe. And then once we get done with it, then we give a negative to it. Right? Okay. So this is negative, what's the square root of 49? Seven. seven, right? Now the square root of 49 is seven. Seven times seven is 49. It's just that we're making, well, here's the number six, right? Mm -hmm. Just completely unrelated, not sequitur over here. I can make this a negative by putting a negative sign in front of it, right? I can have the number six, or I can make the number six negative, right? If I ignore the negative, what is this number? It's a number, right? What is this number? Well, it represents the number seven. Yeah, it is, the, it is worth a value of seven, right? Out in the real world, it's worth seven. And then we take that seven and we just make it negative, just like we make a six negative, okay? Now, how's that different from this? Interrupting class, being loud. Oh. Interrupting class, being more loud. Is that pictures? Okay. Enjoy yourselves. So how's it different from from this thing? Uh, well, actually, the square root of forty nine can be positive or negative. It's too much talking. You can't have a square root of a negative. You can't multiply a number by itself and get a negative number. Uh, another, a, a number is either a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. Both ways you get a positive. So there can't be a square root of a negative 49. Right? And this isn't saying take negative 7 and multiply it by itself. right? It's saying take 7 and make it negative. Okay. Any questions? Clear that? Okay. What's an integer? It is a number it's a specific, from a specific set of numbers. Yeah, Connor? Like below zero. Uh, there are integers that are below zero. But if it's just a number that's below zero, you're talking about a negative number. Right? Sure. Wait, isn't it anything but zero? No, it includes zero. Zero is an integer, too. Oh, okay. Yeah? Decimals. No decimals. Okay, so that's something about an integer. No decimals, unless the decimal is point zero, right? There's no pieces. Trevor? Has to be a whole number. Whole, yeah, whole is a, it had is is it actually has a meaning, right? Whole numbers are one, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah. I know it's hard to use another other than whole. Derek? Have to be negative? Has to be negative. It can be negative. It can be positive. It can be zero. An integer can be positive, negative, or zero. It just isn't a decimal and it isn't a fraction. So it's a, a whole number, uh, positive or negative. So we can say like whole numbers and the negative whole numbers and zero are the integers. Right? So no fractions, no decimals, but positive, negative, zero, all includes all of that. Okay. So what it wants us to do is to approximate the square root of 18, the negative square root of 18, to the nearest integer, okay? Yes, Ethan? Four. Four, why four? Four Think about it, okay. Because it's close to 16. Yes, 18 is close to 16, yeah. And what? Well, 18 is close to 16. What's the square root of 16? Four. Four, okay. So let, we'll just talk about 
without the negative. We'll ignore the negative for a second. Just the square root of 18. Well, 18 is close to 16. The square root of 16 is 4. Okay, so the square root of 18 is somewhere near 4. Is it bigger than 4 or less than 4? Bigger than 4. And we're, we're ignoring the negative for a minute. It's bigger than 4. It's between 4 and 5. Now, is it closer to 4 or is it closer to 5? Why? Five times five is twenty-five. And that's in the way okay. Four, so eighteen is closer to sixteen than it is to twenty-five. Right? If this if this were to be the square root of this number were to be close to uh, five, then the square root, this the radicand, right, the, the number inside the radical, would need to be closer to twenty-five. But this is only two away from sixteen, so the square root would be pretty close to four. So close to four, but again, it's negative. Now we realize it's negative, so it's close to negative four. Okay. Um, so we're going to talk about rational and irrational. Oh, sorry, yeah? Um, this is like off topic, but what do you the assembly? Two thirds. Okay, thank you. Um, so rational and irrational numbers. What's a rational number? Yeah. <coughs> so we're talking about a decimal, it, and, and you can write decimals as rational numbers. The definition of a rational number, let's get to that first. A rational number is a number that can be written in a certain way. And it has to do with this word ratio. What kind of numbers are we talking about? Fraction. Okay, fraction. One whole number over another, well, one integer over another integer, whether include the negative. So one integer over another. Um, so obviously all the fractions will work. Um, all the whole numbers will work. All the integers will work. You can write them all over one. That, those will all be fractions. Uh, decimals will work if they stop. 0 0.6, 0 0.73965, stop, right? We can write those all as fractions. 0.7395, we could just, if we didn't know anything else, we could write 7,395. Now this is the tens, hundreds, <coughs> tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Right? So there, that can be written as a fraction. Also decimals that go on forever, but they do have a repeating pattern like 0 0.089655. If it starts repeating at some point, we can definitely find a way to write it as a fraction, okay? But if it goes on forever and it doesn't repeat, it doesn't have a pattern, then we can't write it as a rational number, okay? So the square root of eight, is it rational or is it irrational? We talked about this. It's irrational, how do you know? Something. Well, it's not, yeah, it's not a fraction. It's not a nice whole number, right? Square root of 9 would be good, square root of 4 would be good, square root of 16. What do we call these numbers? 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Uh, they are rational, but in the world of square roots, perfect squares. They're perfect squares. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this today. It'll be the first time, first class, first time this year that I use it on anyone, so stop talking, please. Um, if we're talking about square roots, perfect squares have nice whole square roots, and they're rational. But if you just take the square root of eight, it will be this non-repeating forever decimal. So this is what we call irrational. So if it's a square root of something that's not a perfect square, something other than four, nine, 16, 25, 36, so on, then it is irrational. Okay, how about negative two fifths? It's rational. It's a fraction. We just talked about how all the fractions are rational numbers, so that one's good. Negative one, rational. that's rational. Point six. Rational. What does it look like if we write it as a fraction? Six, six over ten. Six over ten. Or three over five. Right? Six, six, five. Yeah, six over ten work just great. Square to six? Irrational. irrational. Mm -hmm. Not a perfect square. Mm -hmm. We try to take the square root of a not perfect square, then it's uh, going to be irrational. Okay. Uh, there are two people who asked me about this question and said, hey, I think that's wrong and I think that's fantastic that you, you know, 
care enough to ask a question. So <coughs> asking questions is a, is a great thing. So if you have any questions about this or about the homework, now's the time. Or before or after school would be the time as well if you don't want to ask in front of everybody else or something like that. So any questions from this or any other problem? Passing the homework.